Flipping hell. This woman. Oh, flipping hell, my bag. Hello? Do you know how clever you are? You know you didn't tighten the lid of the flask. You dropped all over me. I'm looking like an idiot now. I've got meetings all day. Anyway, listen, I left my bag on the sofa. Get one of the kids to bring it out, please. And hurry up. I'm late already. Mom said to go get some milk on the way back. Are you sure that's all she wants? Well, that's all she told me. All right, you know what? I've got to go. I'm really late, yeah? Be good. Yeah, no, that's fine, man. All right, no worries, that's fine. Oh, right, cool. Yeah, no, no, no. All right, fine, bye. Okay, bye. Bruv, let's go off the phone to them. Um, if we can get this shipment from China in for next month, Alhamdulillah, I think we're looking at about eight, nine grand, man. Inshallah. Okay. Um, bro, do you have uh, do you have that document? Yeah, yeah, I got it here. Hello. What bread as well? Why didn't you tell me that earlier? I've already come out the shop now. You always do this. Why can't you just do everything at once? Oh, I tell you what, man, you really get on my nerves. Listen, is there food at home for me or not? What do you mean? You know what? You're just stupid. You understand? You're stupid. You're a disgrace to everything. Huh. Bro, what was that, man? <sighs> Bro, you don't know, she frustrates me, this woman, man. I just don't know what's wrong with her, man. We've been we've been beefing for a while now, man. I'm thinking about calling it a day. Too much for me to handle sometimes. Bro, relax, man. You're going over the top, bro. She's at home with four kids, man. Come on, bro. What's this all about, bro? Over what? Bread? <sighs> Chill out, man. Bro, you just don't understand. She gives me headache. <sighs> Alright, anyway, man, look, you got that document? Yeah. What's that, man? Wow, I think this is the lunch that she made me. <sighs> when it comes to relationships, sometimes we focus on the negatives and forget all the positive things in our spouse. We don't understand the pressure and the stress they may be under and automatically just assume the worst. And so you see, this is why a lot of relationships become stale because we allow negative thoughts to enter our mind. Because the Prophet ﷺ said that a believer must not hate his wife. If there is something in her that he dislikes, there is also something in her that he likes. So the advice is to always look at that which you like and not to look at that which you dislike. And remember that the shaitan, his aim is to sow dissension between us, between our spouses and to make us disunited and for it to end up in divorce. He loves it when we fight. He loves it when we argue. He loves it when we hate each other and we have negative thoughts about each other. Because remember, there's a hadith of the Prophet ﷺ where he said, that Iblis, his throne is above water and every single day he sends his army of shayateen into the world and they come back and report to him and they say to him, I made so and so commit zina, I made so and so miss his prayer, I made so and so do this sin and that sin and shaitan says, well done. But then one of them comes to him and says, I made so and so divorce, I disunited them, I caused dissension between them and he says, ah you, you come here and he lets him sit on his throne and wear his crown. Why is this? Because you see Shaitan, he knows that the cornerstone of society is built upon the sanctity of marriage. Hence why for a society to operate harmoniously, the essence of it begins with the marriage and the home. And a word of advice to those husbands who feel it's okay to abuse your wives and speak to them rudely and harshly. 
Remember that the Prophet ﷺ, he ordered us, he ordered us to treat our women folk with kindness, respect and gentleness. Because remember, they are an amana, a trust given to us and ultimately we will be questioned about them on the Day of Judgment. And finally, remember that your wife is the mother of your children. And if she's not the mother of your children, then she is somebody's sister. And if she's not somebody's sister, then she is somebody's daughter. And remember that one day you may have a daughter as well. So treat your wife exactly how you would want someone to treat your daughter.